There's a spirit that normally ministers to man and woman in marriage. It will be telling them some things. And what it does is it begins to poison their mind concerning their husband. If it is a wife, it begins to poison the heart of that woman concerning the man. Now, before you know it, the man will begin to see the negative aspect of the woman. And the woman will begin to see the negative aspect of, of the man. But I pray today that every hidden agenda of satanic attack concerns your marriage. That said your marriage will not stand until it's broken. In the name of Jesus, I cast them out. I cast them out. So begin to subscribe to this channel. Begin to share this thing. This is very important. Begin to share it so that people can benefit from it. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel again. I'm really sad. I'm, I'm really never felt like this before. It's been long. I've felt something like this. The way I'm feeling right now for this coffin I'm seeing. Because this is not the original plan of God for this woman. Not be the plan we go get for her with this. But now demons in form of human beings and them just cut short her life. And then stop her glory. They decided to bend everything concerns her life. And put her in a state where, you know, let me just call it a road of no returns. Look at it. How old is she? Just 42 years. Just at the prime of her glory. At the prime of her glory. At the prime where people are celebrating her destiny. Where people started seeing God in her life. And this beast called Anima just cut short everything with internal injury internal bleeding so that's bad that's what i used to tell a couple of my friends i said look devil cannot come from wherever it is to come and to come and punch you one-on-one -on -one. it is human being that is going to use if somebody is angry with you before you angry back ask yourself I'm, I'm, I'm bad. I'm not even sure it is the same person I know. If you discover that the reason why this person is angry with you is just of no reason. It's not the person. It is one spirit that is pushing the person to just keep doing that against you. So that's why you must be very wise and be very smart. Know what to do at time to fight and to defend your life. It is very, very important for you to know how to defend your life. Most especially when you are facing something like this. So... I'm, 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 I'm really sad because seeing this coffin today, it's not what she planned. Her mom is alive and I believe her mom will be there watching her death. So the only thing I just have for you today is that I just have some, I feel like praying for you and please just keep saying amen as I'll be saying all this prayer. Just keep saying amen. So today, today concerns you that you are watching this video, every power, every power transforming into animal in the night in order to attack you probably physically or spiritually or in order to enter somebody to use against you to cut short your life those animals and whatever it is spirits they are terminated today in the name of jesus they are terminated today in the name of jesus so i also pray that every power every power transforming into animal in the night in order to attack you and your family they are disappear in the name of jesus see you shall prevail over every dangerous spirit spirit that uses human being to kill to steal and to destroy you shall prevail over them in the name of jesus and i also prefer that every coffin that has been prepared every coffin that has been prepared against your life that have been prepared for your untimely death, either for your life to cash fire or to be roasted in the video or consigned accident concerns you this year, they are terminated in the name of Jesus. And I also pray that every pit that have been dug against your life, every pit of death that enemy have, have dug against your life shall swallow them life in the name of jesus every every, every pain they have that, that, that have been big against you and your children that in order for you to to bury your children with your bare hand i close those pits in the name of jesus every witchcraft power tormenting your life with the spirit of death every witchcraft power from your family from your mother's family from your children tormenting your life and said is not going to turn back until they see you in the six feet. They are terminated today in the name of Jesus. Your body 
and your soul and your spirit. They reject every load of evil today in the name of Jesus. Your body, your soul, and your spirit will reject every load of death concerning your life in the name of Jesus. And I also pray for you that you are watching this video, that every satanic attack monitoring your life, monitoring your life, and they are really even getting ready to paralyze your finances, paralyze your children, dismantle your marriage in order to finish your children. In the name of Jesus, I cap them and I'm I threw them into the lake of fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I bind them together and threw them into the lake of fire in the name of Jesus. I say it again, every satanic agenda, monitoring your life, paralyzing your finances, your marriage, disturbing your husband, disturbing your wife, in order for both of you to be having misunderstanding and be fight, and in order for your marriage to end in death, I terminate and cast them out of your life in the name of Jesus. And I also pray for you today that every plan of the hell concerns your marriage, every plan of every attack of the demons, every attack of the demons from the pit of hell concerns your husband. Because what happened is that when this demon wants to work in the marriage, they normally use either a wife or the husband. Then by the time, if see anyone that is weak among them, is the first one they, look, they always go for. If, if if the wife is the one that is you know that is the weaker vessel, they go for her, and they begin to say nonsense to her head. Before you know this, you begin to misbehave, because they know the end. The end is they want the separation. Because when they know once the separation has been made, nothing again. And I pray for you that you are listening to me today. Every spirit that is worrying you, every spirit that is speaking to your head. Knowingly or unknowingly, consciously, subconsciously, he's speaking to your head against your husband, poisoning your mind to begin to see the negative aspects of your wife, to begin to see the negative aspect of your husband. In the name of Jesus, I cancel that spirit and I cast him out in the name of the Bible says he said we should cast them out. And I pray this prayer. I said there's a spirit that normally ministers to man and woman in marriage. It will be telling them some things. And what it does is it begins to poison their mind concerning their husband. If it is a wife, it begins to poison the heart of that woman, concerns the man. Now, before you know it, the man will begin to see the negative aspect of the woman. And the woman will begin to see the negative aspect of, of the man. But I pray today that every hidden agenda of satanic attack concerns your marriage. That said, your marriage will not stand until it's broken. In the name of Jesus, I cast them out. I cast them out. So begin to subscribe to this channel. Begin to share this thing. This is very important. Begin to share it so that people can benefit from it. You are delivered in the name of Jesus. You are set free in the name of Jesus. Your life will be meaningful in the name of Jesus. No weapon that is formed against you that you are listening to this video shall prosper. People will not carry your coffin. And as a result of your coffin, they'll begin to weep against you. No, it will not happen to you in the name of Jesus. Your destiny is covered in the name of Jesus. Your life will be transformed in the name of Jesus. Because at the end of the day, it is children that will survive. It is the children that will survive. So begin to share this message. Subscribe and share. Subscribe is very important. It is the children that will survive. Look at this case now. This coffin you are seeing, that is a, a coffin. But look at the man. The man is in, in, in jail already. I don't know, probably they have done everything. But see, can you see what I'm seeing? But where, the children, where are they now? They are nowhere to be found. They might either be with the grandma or be, but can, can grandma be like the woman? Can grandma be like a father? It is not possible. She can only do her part. That's why I pray for children. Every power that they have determined, either from man or from that, that they have they already, they've already gathered. I would say it's that they will gather, but they will not succeed. They have gathered themselves together. They have already established that confusion in your marriage, that fight, that misunderstanding every day. You don't want to be patient, the man you don't want to come down. So all of you just want to, I want to show this person, it, it is a spirit. And that spirit, I cast it out, because you that are watching me, I cast it out in the name of Jesus. If it is in the middle or from the back that they are used to come in, I don't know, either it's happened in your home or probably within your father and your mother. But as long as you are listening to this message, I cast that demons out in the name of Jesus. You will never ever bury your mother in the name of Jesus. You will not bury your father. Your father will not bury you. Your mother will not bury you. Because the plan of God for us is for all of us to grow old. When we are old, then that is a good news. That one is we can kill any, any, any cow that you like. But not untimely death. Not for somebody because it's a shame. 
imagine people come together to rejoice with you on your wedding day and the parents they internally willingly hand over the woman into your hand as a man that this woman has become your property from today at the end of the day it is not the same people that you now call come and take your coffee or that they will now begin to say, no 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 it's not done there's a spirit behind it there's a spirit behind it so you need to keep praying for yourself it's a fight before i leave remember this always remember this put this at the back of your mind see god did not say we are not going to face temptation no. he didn't say we are not going to face problem in the marriage do you understand he did not even promise us that we not climb mountain look at the children of israel they face they not even they, they even have to face the wall of jericho but what god promised on marriage he said we should not worry that he has already defeated them they have been defeated look at the case of a uh, wall of jericho it is not by their power by their effort god just tell them what to do because it is that same promises that he promised israel like, don't worry i'm behind you just do this that's exactly what god wants you to that's why you need to always talk to god when it comes to your marriage you need to always talk to him god what can i do if you face the challenges look for the bible open your bible look for a portion of the bible let the spirit of god lead you pick that bible verse it's not necessarily that you have to read the whole bible just pick one, one particular Bible verse in the Bible that very close to what you are passing through. Begin to chew, chew, chew it. Begin to profess. You know, begin to confess it every day. Say it. Begin to manifest it. Begin to confess it. That is what you need because by see by the time you start confessing it, your faith begin to grow and begin to believe in that your confession. So God did not say we are not going to face anything, but He said we should not worry that He has already settled everything. So I pray for you today. You will not bury your wife in the name, and your husband too will not, and, and the wife too will not bury your husband in the name of Jesus. It's a serious issue. So please don't forget to share, subscribe to this channel. If this has ministered to you, subscribe right now. And if you are returning subscribers too, thank you. There's a lot of video like this on this channel. Always watch our videos. Our mission for you is to bless your life. Always watch our video. Every news you see on town that is trending. We are not here to talk about it. What we want to do is to bring out the point and the reason why you need to pray, that you need to fight for yourself so that something like that will not happen to you. That is what we do here. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next video.